I'm Bleeding Critic. Welcome to Scary Stories UK. The Whisperer I stopped a road rage incident getting out of hand today. Two strangers shouting and swearing at each other. Nothing to do with me. I stepped in and got them both to calm down. If I hadn't done anything, one of them, the lady, would have got hurt. I whispered to the man, It's not worth it. I whispered to the woman, You're better than this. I felt good doing that, like some community superhero. And later I came across a young man crying next to a grave. He was in a terrible state. I could see he was confused and alone. I whispered to him, Go back into your coffin. He was upset about the mess he made and I promised him I'll make it look like he never tried to escape. I sorted it and his plot looks undisturbed, good as new. I recognised him from when he was alive. In this community, everyone knew him, local lad. The police are still making inquiries. The man who knifed him hasn't been arrested. It was a drunken argument about nothing that got out of hand. I was the only one who witnessed everything. I didn't step in because I never sensed their argument was going to spiral so quickly. My judgement misfired and an innocent man lost his life. And because I messed up, my wings were removed. I'm unable to travel without them, however, I'll get them back once the powers that be decide I can be reinstated, and the quickest way for me to be able to glide and fly again is for me to go after someone who has done something truly evil. So I'm going to go after the man who stabbed the person who was trying to escape from their grave, and once I'm done with him, I'll be whole again. I see him now. The murderer. He's with an older woman. Oh yeah, that's his mother. She's a good person. It's not her fault he turned out the way he is. I'm going to hurt her. To really hurt someone, you go after their nearest and dearest. I'm pretty good at resolving problems, but I'm also good at coordinating bad things to happen. She's not in the best of health, so I made sure she crossed paths with a stranger who has COVID. And I got this stranger to cough close to her face, and now she's taken a turn for the worst. She's resting in the infected ward in the hospital. Her murderous son is by her bedside. I'll stop her functioning right now. His dear mum's dead. He is suffering, but it's not enough. He stabbed to death an innocent man. I honestly believe I need to punish him even more. I'm going to whisper to him, Join her. You can't leave your mum alone in the afterlife. Kill yourself. Kill yourself. Kill yourself. Kill yourself. Kill yourself. Yes, I can tell he'll take his own life. It's taken me a few more encouraging whispers to get him to kill himself. 
Attempted suicide is more frequent than completed suicide, so I whispered the idea that he hangs himself. Less messy than a cold bath and using razor blades. Hanging is more considerate than jumping in front of a moving train full of commuters. I watched him die. His hanging caused a lack of oxygen to his brain. The noose he made was sturdy enough so it took roughly four minutes for him to pass away. He's joined his mother. And I'm pleased I convinced the hanged man's victim to return to his coffin earlier. And I'll get my wings back and I'll be free to go anywhere. Hang on, excuse me for a moment. Sorry. Say that again. The powers that be are not happy with me. They won't be returning my wings. They said I went over the top. I cut corners instead of being patient. I should not have targeted the murderer's mother. Killing her is unacceptable, they say. Oh. I'm banned. They've banned me. They suggest my skills are more in tune with making good people do bad things. They say my talents are wasted in helping and being kind to people like you. So no more being good. No more helping the angry to calm down or reassuring the vulnerable. I've changed lanes now. I take full responsibility. I agree with the powers that be. I went too far. I will embrace my new purpose. I'll get a real buzz whispering to good people, encouraging them to do bad things. I will focus on this particular wonderful lady who is genuinely loved. She's like a ray of sunshine when she walks into a room. She's not confrontational, however, I will whisper to her. Tell your neighbour to get her baby to stop crying almost every night. The poor baby is teething. It's not its fault. If I don't whisper to this wonderful lady, yes, yeah, she'll get used to the crying and all will be fine over time. However, this is my role now. To make nice people do the most horrific acts. My suggestive whispering will make this wonderful lady believe it's her own decision to confront her neighbour with a hammer. It's up to her if she storms into the apartment next door running past her neighbour into the crying baby's bedroom. I look forward to watching such brutal carnage unfold. I've been transparent about my past and what I'm now responsible for and it's good that you have a connection to my hypnotic whispering voice. So here's what I want you to do. Let's start off with something gentle but effective. The next person you see, family or stranger, just start a little argument over nothing and do everything you can to escalate it to the point of violence. And at that point, slap that person as hard as you can across their face. Then tell them the whispering in your 